This is a Simon video. We're going to practice using exclusive logs by creating a airplane seats booking system. You probably have used the online tickets booking system from airline companies. This type of system will definitely have to be multi-threading in order to improve performance. And because of that, you will have to pay attention to threads synchronization problems that may potentially happen. For example, if there's only one ticket available, let's say only one ticket available. And if at this moment there are two people online trying to uh, book, book ticket, if you don't apply locks, if they come at the same time, the first person will see that, oh, there's a ticket available. And the second person also sees that there's a ticket available. And then both click on the book button around the same time then both people will get the ticket. But when they come and trying to board the plane, that's where problems may happen. I actually just experienced this in this month when I fly from Atlanta to Toronto. A person was sitting in my seat. When I came, she asked whether this is my seat or not. I said yes. And then she went down and started telling me that her seat was taken by another person. And she told me that they have the ticket and the ticket is showing the same seat number, same date, same airplane. She was lucky because the airplane wasn't full, so she was able to get a spare seat. As you can see that this kind of problem actually happened in modern day airline companies seats booking system. So let's try to create this seats booking system based on the web server that we created in assignment number one. So. If I come over here, this is what we created for assignment number one. We have a queue right, to queue the requests. Of course, when we modify this, this request queue is actually a booking request queue. And you will still have a monitoring thread will be monitoring the, the queue. Right? The main thread will be uh, works on the inquiring process. Monitoring thread will be working on uh, checking the queue checking the, the request queue and try to process the request. And this processing is not just any processing. This is actually trying to book the airline ticket. And that's where the problem happens. That's where you will have to keep a counter of the available ticket. And that's a shared resource that will be accessed through different threads. And you have to apply a lock to the critical section. And that's how you do it with this console application. We're trying to use a console application to mimic a scenario where we have a web server available for users to buy tickets. All right, another thing I want to mention is that when user enters the letter B into the queue, that means the user wants to book a ticket. If the user wants to cancel the booking, he or she is allowed to do that, and she can do that by enter letter C. So this adds another layer of complexity. You have to handle both addition and subtraction from the available ticket. All right, try to do that yourself. And in the next video, I'm going to work on my solution. If any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.